them into our 64 year old school. You can see we don't have a, a vestibule that is secure. So when you first come in, you can just come in. Um, here our receptionist has to scan people in the room. And it is not safe for people to come in our building. Okay. If you come to our nurse's station, it's kind of also a storage area. If you'll see here on the left, I have a student who has high needs, who needs special feeding, who needs a lift. And everything is kind of just very congested in here. Well, as you come into the left side of my building, we have second, first, and kindergarten grades. If you'll take a look here at my speech pathologist room, which really is a closet that is used as a, a classroom. No ventilation in there for her, no heating. Gets very stuffy in there. Reading room. So usually you'll have three groups going in here. Right now there's one current group going. Um, so has to really talk here about what too. we Again, talked about space. on the beginning. Okay, so this, it's an open concept. So every time I have to walk through here, you have to walk through all of the classrooms. Another second grade classroom that we have to walk through to get all the way to my kindergarten classroom. Doors don't lock. Security, a lot of windows. Here, another area of concern is you can see we have a, a this is my counseling office. This is a, an office that is shared by the school psychologist, by my MTSS coordinator, and so then we make shift with the space that we have here. Um, we have this door installed here that goes into our workroom slash storage area here. area of concern is um, lack of storage. So here we have um, kind of a makeshift, um, very unpleasant to our kids. Sometimes um, it can be a little bit scary coming in here. If you come on in here, um, very concerned about the lighting, the wires that hang out here. Again, my school is 64 years old. If you look at the tile, it's hard to keep it all clean. walk you now through to our cafeteria slash gym. Uh, we have to hurry up and finish as you can see. Students are almost ready, so we have to rush them out. Um, because we have to get ready for our feeding class that happens here. How do you feel when we have lunch and then like a day like today when we have to eat? How does that work out for us? Not very well because it really takes time to clean and it takes time out of the students for their PE class. And so the worst in winter time where they can't just go outside for a lap or two and give me time. Thank you. So, like I said, the our gym slash cafeteria. It can get a little loud here. So now we're gonna enter my other side of the building, which is my fifth, fourth, and third grade. I want you to take note on the lighting. All of my building has old school lighting. We need LED lighting for our students to learn better and pay attention to the events and how loud they are. Okay. So, I do want to go over questions. I want to learn about Thank you, Bella. So you can tell this is our our loudest system here. Also, I have a trailer at my school because of space. So as we're walking here, you have to have extra supervision. Our students go to the trailer for classrooms. And in case of an emergency, it's hard to get all my students back in, get them in a safe place. 